Welcome back guys to CryptoFollower channel. Today we will talk about Acro, Acropolis coin. Should you buy this coin or not? And I would like to show you my middle term targets for this year. Let's jump in. First of all, let's dive in coin market cap and check the circulation supply, total supply. So maximum supply, we don't have data. Total supply is 5 billions and almost all coins in circulation supply. So it's good. It's good. It's really good. So market cap is pretty low. 22, almost 23 millions. So uh, hypothetically, uh, to reach $1 for this coin, we have to see 4 billion market cap. So it's it's more than real. Yes, to be honest, uh, I already explained to you. If the total market cap will be around 5 or even uh, 10 trillions, uh, we can see a lot of uh, coins uh, hit one dollar, like Acropolis, for example, Zilliqa, WeChain, or or another one. So let's take a look on uh, a weekly time frame. We got this FIP. This FIP still relevant, and we got a top. Uh, I mark it by uh, body candle here, not a weak candle, because of uh, this line chart here. Here's a top. Here is a uh, bottom. Here's a reaction. Rejection at a trend line, go back to candles, rejection, and here we get a lot of stop losses. I mark it a lot of stop losses exactly over the 0.5 level by feet. A lot of stop losses, you got a reaction here. Uh, then we got one more touch here, rejection, drop it down, touch, 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 capitulation in May and going sideways, like almost all single altcoins uh, going sideways, breaking out this downtrend line. So we got weekly imbalance here, what do we have to come back and close? Not now, maybe not this year, but we have to come back and close this one. So we got volume range here, the main sellers area was at this price. So here's uh, 0 0.204. 423. So at this point, we got main uh, seller area. Also, we exactly inside 27 zone. So it's a good time to accumulate coin. I don't want to show you, oh, we go into $1 or something. And no, maybe in the future, maybe, maybe nobody knows. But now I don't want to show you this, uh, this shit. Uh, you can see the volume increase here. From uh, December, volume increase. So we have to see a uh, bigger cattle, or even even it can it can be the manipulation. We can see the volume decrease around a, April and the May, but on the price will uh, going higher. Uh, what I don't like, I don't like this uh, weak cattle. But like you can see here, is a reaction exactly at uh, weekly imbalance once again. We got an impulse, maybe on some news. I, I don't remember in in December. We're breaking out 18 level by FIB, got re a rejection, massive rejection on the uh, weekly time frame, how it looks on a daily. Here, it's just one candle, one daily candle, huge volume here, and rejection at uh, this weekly imbalance, drop, liquidate all people who open along, trade it here, reject once again at 18 level by FIB, and now, uh, the road open to test 0.5 level of people. Maybe not now, but uh, we got volume increase on the daily time frame, on a weekly time frame. It means that the big players invest more and more and more this coin. So the first target is just a hypothetical move, you know. The first target will be uh, 0.012, retest 18 level of FIP, skyrocket to weekly middle term resistance zone, reject at a zero level, step by step. Monthly imbalance, close, breaking out. And the final target for uh, 2023 will be 0 0.5 level by FIB. It's around uh, to grab this liquidity, you know, this stop losses. It's just, this stop loss is like a, like a magnet. Uh, to grab all this liquidity, it's 0 0.045. We can just hypothetically form in the head and shoulder pattern. And the size of this head and shoulder will be exactly test of this weekly imbalance zone uh, at, uh, uh, let me show you, at around 0 0.01. So in this area, we can see the retest 
trades sometimes in the sideways, maybe with a, some squeeze, and going up uh, into zone 24 for next uh, bull run. So let's take a look uh, what we can see now on the, on my indicator set. So go back to indicators, ADZ direction. Uh, let's take a look on a weekly time frame. So on the ADZ, we got over, over, but, but like you know, and that's why it's real, really important to see this move because we can forming the three waves down on a weekly time frame. It took time, maybe few months to forming this one, and uh, maybe not till uh, April or May. Maybe till um, you know end of uh, uh, summer we can form in this down, then go back into accumulation stage. And in accumulation stage on a weekly time frame, we maybe maybe start forming the divergency, like this one. So going down, but start forming divergence. Because now we saw just only one accumulation uh, stage here in uh, January 2022 till uh, March 2022 and in May 2022. If we go to monthly time frame, uh, for monthly time frame, yes, it uh, looks much, much better, much, much better because we never seen that oversold, uh, we never seen the distribution on this coin. So during all 2022, the big players only accumulate this coin. And like you can see on a monthly time frame, we just lay down on the bottom on the uh, crypto flight direction. So it's really, really strong signal. So yes, maybe this coin have a potential to hit $1. So it's not some clickbait, you know. Uh, and like you can see on a monthly time frame, we got a volume. We finally got a, a huge volume, you know. Uh, the same volume like it was in June 2022 from sellers. So like you can see here, huge volume. The price was at $0.08. Cents. And here's a size of volume in February, in uh, March, but now we get a lot of volume. So the money inflow in this coin. So this is a really great signal. Crypto flight direction on a monthly time frame I already showed you. So here also never seen the signal to sell. Never uh, on a Binance. Here accumulation stage began on January, on a weekly time frame. January from January to February, the big players accumulate, volume increase and pump. So we got a pump now. So it's one more confirmation uh, for this idea. So it's really good. Then we go to uh, next indicator is market motor money power. On the market uh, power, money power, uh, what we can see here, rejection at this level we got in, uh, uh, like I told you, uh, in April and May, it was the top for a uh, uh, bull run. Here rejection drop here's one more touch in november drop and we accumulate long time period here now we once again almost at the top but like you can see we long time period can bounce like this one here on amount of power so though that's why it would be logical to see something like this one and then drop after our target but it's just my thoughts it's just my thoughts it's not a financial recommendation on crypto for light markets mod here was the distribution on the market mode, overhype. That's why, just compare. Here's a top on the market in March, April, May, and here's a November. So maybe for Bitcoin, we're just forming the double top, but for many altcoins, we, uh, the top uh, and uh, all-time high for uh, bull run was here in April, March, April, May, so 21. So we long time period here. Why people expect a lower? I don't know. I don't know. Of course, everything can happen in crypto, but I'm not expected that crash one more time. Uh, but like I told you and I showed you, Bitcoin can have a ch have a chance to drop to 10k. Yes. So uh, crypto vibe markets mode. We got accumulation from um, January 2022 till March 2022, and few times here also. And on the monthly time frame, yes, uh, we are uh, still in. Uh, sellers area but that's why maybe we'll see something like this one on the chart on the market to our target and around september october we start to see the total disbelief for this coin on crypto flight market mode so it was markets mode and uh, trade on 
and take profit. Let's take a look on uh, tr trade on. What do we got? Uh, signals to uh, sell. First signal on a weekly time frame. The the a higher time frame. That's strongest signal. You know, signal to sell here. Drop first. Of course, from November 2022, we made a signal to sell uh, 400%. Then from this bottom in 2022, November, we got uh, 1K% percent and got a signal to sell uh, in April. Now we got a recommendation. Close position if you short, but it didn't see signal to buy, you know, on a weekly time frame. On a monthly time frame, uh, no, don't have a data for analysis, uh, so no signal to buy now on uh, strong signal to buy uh, confirmation. But it, it this signal can appear in every a, any single moment, you know. So here is a just for intradays. Here is a signal to buy. Here is a signal to take profit. Here is signal to sell. Recommendation close position signal to sell. So here's what about a trade on indicator. I highly recommend you use uh, this mind indicator set six and one. It's uh, really helpful and showing you the wider picture for uh, altcoins and for Bitcoin also. And go back to the last indicator, take profit indicator. Here, what we got mm, in current station. I don't want to take a look on a history. So in current station, we got here reaction at a buy line. No, it was a pump, you know, it was a pump. So to take profit line, you can close your position at take profit line 80%. And when and we didn't test it again. So if the market crash, we have all chances to drop, like I showed you on the on a four hour time frame. Test this level. Test this level minus uh, 44% drop to buy line once again if the market crash. It's not necessary, so we have to collapse lower under fundamental price because we we've been here. But so now we are in the uptrend, uptrend move. That's why we are past exit line. Now trade at take profit line, and we have to go when we touch this target. We have to go to a higher time frame, and on a higher time frame, you can see in the next picture, we just trade under all this time period. We trade under fundamental price. Here's the fundamental line, 5 cents and 35, uh, no, 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 0 0.205, not 5 cents. And here's a uh, buy line at 0 0.207 and take profit on the weekly time frame. It's uh, 0 0.01400 and exit line at 0 0.0160. It's on the weekly time frame and this lines are dynamic and like you can see uh, the exit line on a weekly time frame is around zero level on a monthly time frame don't have enough data for analysis for this indicator so uh, all this analysis still relevant i highly recommend you follow me on trading view because uh, this idea i posted few few maybe days ago so you will see the idea first then on youtube so guys i hope you like this video about acropolis right let's comment what do you think about this coin uh do you hold this coin for a long run or in your past if you want to trade it with my custom indicator set six in one only for one dollar per day just write me dm and don't forget you on my telegram channel see you next time guys